Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this MOSFET circuit and we have been given that all the MOSFETs are identical. That means here, the device characteristic of all MOSFETs are equal. Moreover, we have been given that all the MOSFETs are biased in a such a way that they are operating in the saturation region. So here, we have been asked to find the output voltage. So if you look this circuit, then this portion of the circuit is the current mirror. So in this case, this reference current is equal to 1 milliampere. And the same current is also flowing through the transistor M1. That means here, this ID1 is equal to 1 milliampere. And since the device characteristic of all MOSFETs are equal, so the current through the second MOSFET or the ID2 will also be equal to 1 milliampere. Because for the current mirror, in general, this ID2 can be given as W by L ratio of this second MOSFET divided by W by L ratio of the first MOSFET times I reference. So in this case, this I reference is equal to 1 milliampere, and this W by L ratio of these two MOSFETs are equal. Therefore, this ID2 is equal to 1 milliampere. That means the current through this transistor M2 is equal to 1 milliampere. Now here, the gate current of all MOSFETs are negligible, so we can assume that this same current ID2 is also flowing through this 4 kilo ohm resistor. That means the current through this 4 kilo ohm resistor is also equal to 1 milliampere. So if we see the voltage drop across this 4 kilo ohm resistor, then it is equal to 1 milliampere times 4 kilo ohm that is equal to 4 volt. That means the voltage at this end or this VG3 is equal to 6 volt minus 4 volt that is equal to 2 volt. That means the gate voltage of this MOSFET M3 is equal to 2 volt. Similarly, the gate voltage of this fourth MOSFET or the M4 is equal to 6 volt. Now for this MOSFET M3, since the source terminal is at the ground potential, so we can say that this voltage VGS3 that is VG3 minus VS3 is equal to 2 volt minus 0 volt that is equal to 2 volt. Similarly, for this MOSFET M4, this VGS4 is equal to VG4 minus V out because the voltage at the source of this M4 is equal to V out that is equal to 6 volt minus V out. Now here if you observe, then this M3 and M4 are connected in the series connection. Therefore, the drain current of this two MOSFET will also be equal. Apart from that, here we have been given that the all MOSFETs are operating in the saturation region. So in the saturation region, this drain current ID can be given as half times mu n times cux times W divided by L times VGS minus VT whole square. So let's say the current through this MOSFET M3 is equal to ID3 while the current through this MOSFET M4 is equal to ID4. And since both MOSFETs are connected in the series connection, so this ID3 is equal to ID4. Moreover, since both MOSFETs are operating in the saturation region, so for both MOSFETs, we can use same expression. So for this MOSFET M3, this ID3 will be equal to half times mu n times cux times W divided by L times this VGS3 minus VT whole square. And similarly, for this MOSFET M4, this current ID4 is equal to half times mu n times cux times W divided by L times this VGS4 minus VT whole square. Now here, since the device parameter of all MOSFETs are equal, so this device constant as well as the threshold voltage for all MOSFETs will be equal. So whenever we equate this ID3 and the ID4, then we will have this VGS3 minus VT whole square that is equal to VGS4 minus VT whole square. Or we can say that this VGS3 minus VT that is equal to VGS4 minus VT. 
or we can say that these VGS3 should be equal to VGS4. Now we have already calculated the value of the VGS3 that is equal to 2 volt and this VGS4 is equal to 6 volt minus V out. Therefore, this V out is equal to 4 volt. That means for the given question, the value of the output voltage is equal to 4 volt.